the IYI party accused Stellenbosch municipality of protecting the former deputy mayor. The Western Cape High Court ruled against the municipality, saying that Annaline de Beer acted unfairly last year by using law enforcement to deny initiates access to a local nature reserve. The city plans to appeal the decision. The IYI party and Stellenbosch municipality are strangling each other after party filed a complaint with BBC on behalf of local government, accusing municipality of protecting former deputy mayor Annaline de Beer. This comes after the Western Cape Supreme Court ruled against the municipality late last year in which De Beer was criticized for wrongdoing by using law enforcement to deny initiates access to a local nature reserve. Resh Makabila, a principal of the Soto tribe, urgently appealed to the Supreme Court after a starter school was denied access to Ida's Valley Nature Reserve between November 2022 and January of this year. Metro Police had stopped at two entry points area, had locked doors, and refused to allow cars enter nature reserve where initiates were camping. This prevented provision of necessities such as food, water and medical equipment, which the court found put initiates' lives at risk. The municipality denied that Mokabila, initiates' parents and medical personnel had access to the property from November 25, 2022 and were unjustly evicted from the property. Ali AD former good councillor slams party over allegations he said he had a legal obligation under Felt Fires Forest Act of 1998 and that access was restricted to reduce the risk of step fires on property. Judge Daniel Fulare said in his decision that the school was operating under harsh and harsh conditions due to restricted access. This made it difficult for the disabled and the elderly among initiates to visit their blood relatives. The distance between the gates the camps was about 8 to 10 kilometers, and walking took longer was dangerous at night. Most parents could only visit their children in the evening after work. The court also criticized the Bears' ignorance of African culture and initiation schools and the municipality's failure to appreciate the Soto Molebi teachings. He considered the deployment of law enforcement officers to be severe and unlawful. Could responded to the decision by making a formal request for the council to suspend the beer as it investigates what it calls improper conduct. Good Councillor Christy Noble said, Section 5 of the 2010 Senior Executives Code deals with disciplinary procedures. It stipulates that the council must decide whether to investigate a senior executive. However, acting on Mayor's advice, the Speaker preferred to seek legal advice on matter. Noble added that the decision is against council rules and unconstitutional. Therefore, Good has filed a formal complaint to BES, Anton Bredel, for local government in terms of Section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act. The decision on whether to investigate the beer should be taken by the members of parliament, and the speaker's behavior should also be investigated, he said. Bredel's office declines to comment. City spokesman Stuart Grobola said, We have reviewed court's decision and therefore the matter is at litigation stage. We cannot publicly discuss an ongoing court matter. The deputy mayor acted in full accordance with the law and within his authority.